so welcome student for today's lecture so let us start uh, our course so this is ma425 topology okay and uh, lecture number Six. Okay. So, uh, okay. So today we will learn about uh, another important uh, notion, the notion of a closed set. Okay. So so far we have defined open sets, so elements of topology, right? Now, what is the idea of C? You know the idea of closed set in in R. So how to define in a general topological space? Okay. So, um, so we'll start with the topological space. So let, um, so let x tau you have this given. Okay, be a topological space. Space. Okay. So a subset. A, a sub said um, something say a uh, whatever yeah so let me write down a maybe uh, of x is said to be closed in x is said to be a Closed set in X if this uh, A complement, which is nothing but A, a complement in X, so X minus A, so this thing should be it's the topology tau of X. Okay. So, uh, so. Uh, if you start with a set and you check whether the complement like complement means that uh, the elements which are inside the bigger set x but not inside a this must be an open set so if it is element of topology then the complement is called the closed is is a closed set okay so maybe uh, let me give some examples so um, so example one so uh, update the basic example so if you start with x um, uh, it's a subset of x, right? And we already know that uh, x and tau, x and phi are open sets. But you see that x and phi are also closed set. Are uh, uh, also closed set, right? Because uh, you see that x complement, which is x minus x, it's phi element of the topology and similarly phi complement is x minus phi which is x it's again inside the topology it's right so the whole set and the null set are both open and close okay so this is a basic example and then you can have in like thousands of examples so if you start with my x say, real numbers with usual topology so when i'm saying r uh, that i'm assuming that uh, with uh, this usual uh, equivalent topology okay this is i'm assuming if lower limit topology then i will write down r l okay so uh, with respect to this usual topology equivalent topology um, and if you want to find out uh, something is open or not, so you check, uh, for example, a closed interval, say a, b, is this closed or not? So you check what is the complement. The complement will be of this form, r minus closed interval a, b. Okay. And uh, so, so in real line, you can understand. Let's suppose this is real line, and you have something a and b a and b and then r minus a b means it is i mean this to this 
towards the similarly right towards this so this is what this is actually union of minus infinity to a and then b to plus infinity right and now you check that both these and these are open sets so the union of two open sets is open right so this is element of the topology obviously the standard topology of r and the equivalent topology of r and hence a intersection and that close interval a b is closed with respect to that uh, usual topology i'm writing this way r okay so there are so many such example you can you can you can define uh, and uh, your homework is to find out so whatever topology you have learned so far uh, like a discrete topology in discrete topology and like um, finite component topology countable co-downtable topology and uh, lower limit topology k k topology there's so many topology you have learned right so, an order topology so try to find out uh, how this is your homework uh, try to find out how this closer look like okay so you can do it okay so now um, um so obviously you can you understood that inside the topological space with respect to some topology the some set may be both closed and open some set may be only closed some set may be only open and some set may be neither closed nor open okay there may be many such example right for example inside uh, um, right um, inside uh, uh, yeah, so this take x equal to r. So obviously, uh, that r and phi are both open and closed, right? I mean, they, they are inside the topology of standard topology of r, right? But then you just prove that um, maybe you choose any, any such closed set is. is so only closed right similarly you can choose the open interval on to issue that is it's only open open set right uh, with respect to the equivalent topology i'm talking about And then you can have this kind of example open interval one to uh, say closed to this is open close this is uh, is neither open nor closed okay okay so one minute and this is the symbol I'm writing not. what is that uh, okay yeah so uh, this open oh. yeah so open one and say close two so this is a, uh, this is not open also not close okay. so neither open not close so there are four possibilities it can be both open both close both open and close and only open only close and both not open not close also right so this kind of, kind of example you can find out uh, in any topological space okay so now uh, we can have some properties for example we know that uh, the topological that definition of topology tells you the finite intersections of open set is open arbitrary union of closed open set is open what is uh, is there any kind of property which is true for closed sets and the answer is yes uh, but it is kind of the opposite property okay so theorem so we can prove those uh, these theorems are uh, simple theorems so let me write down so suppose we have a topological space um, anything so uh, any topological space this is true for any okay this is given to you 
and then um, you can have that uh, any arbitrary intersection of closure is closed okay so uh, you know i mean so i'm i'm, I'm arbitrary means it, it can be anything right intersections of close sets okay so this is uh, uh, whatever you close set you choose it means they are always closed okay and similarly if you choose uh, finite unions finite unions of closed sets are closed okay uh, so um, so uh, what does that mean that means um, uh, so 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 this is clear that you can uh, you can have this kind of property from the property of topology but we have we need to prove it give a proper proof okay so how to prove uh, proof of one so if you want to take uh, so you just start with any arbitrary in collection so you start maybe uh, something say um, so v v alpha alpha belongs to some arbitrary indexed lambda it can be finite infinite uncountable doesn't matter okay so this is uh, the collection of collection of the closed sets okay close sets uh, in that uh, topological space x and i need to prove that uh, intersection of uh, these kind of v alphas is also close so what does that mean so i need to prove the intersection of v alpha belongs to lambda is closed but but what does that mean that means i want to prove that the complement is actually open but what is the complement of that inside x so this is that mean the x minus um, this intersection v alpha alpha belongs to lambda right but this is now you can use the de morgan's law de morgan's law tells you that this is nothing but union of x minus uh, v alpha okay alpha belongs to lambda so now about if you just use the definition of v alpha so v alphas are of closed sets so that means x minus v alphas which are complement of v alpha in x are open sets right but uh, because these are open sets and you know that union of all open sets are open so this this union is actually element of that topology set of x okay so uh, this intersection of v alpha complement is inside topology and hence uh, that means intersection v alpha alpha belongs to lambda uh, is a closed set closed set in x okay so any arbitrary intersection you choose of closed sets that must be closed okay and this is true for any topology Okay, so now uh, the proof for second one also is simple. So uh, for finite intersection, so you, again you collect uh, that finite number of sets. Uh, say v1, v2, some vn. Okay, so this is um, mm, collection of collection of close sets okay in x and i want to show that this union of vi i equal to 1 to n is 
also closed but to prove that i need to check what and it is that the complement is open right but what is the complement complement is nothing but this x minus union of v i is i equal to 1 to n and this is nothing but again you use a de morgan law and that tells you that this is intersection of x minus v i is okay i equal to 1 to n now x minus v i is are open sets right by definition of p i's are closed sets so these are inside topology of the space and hence uh, intersection of any open sets is open so this is belongs to again the topology of given topology of the set okay so thus what do you prove you prove that any finite union of closed sets is also closed okay closed okay clear so so this property is kind of the opposite property of open sets so instead of open sets what you are getting you are getting that arbitrary union of open set is open finite intersection of open set is open for closed set this is exactly opposite arbitrary intersection of closed set is closed and finite union of open closed set is closed okay now let us uh, go to uh, a situation where you have a um, for example you have a uh, soft space of a given space and you want to check that something is open inside the substance or not okay and something is close inside substance or not then how do you do it okay so for that i we have this next theorem so next theorem tells you okay that tells us that uh okay so one more thing so whenever i am talking about soft space i mean that under soft space topology okay so let um y is a b is a, is a, i mean sorry b a soft space okay so i am saying soft space means under soft space topology whatever the topology is there on x you take the soft space topology okay uh, uh then then a subset a of y is closed in y if and only if uh, what happens so it must be um, a is intersection of some um, closest so so you can write down a, a is equal to okay so a can be written as uh, some some close sets uh, of x so it can be written as intersection of c with y where c is a closed set in x in x so you understood so so so, so this is kind of again property of soft space topology right so in substance topology uh, how you are getting open set you are get, taking open sets of the original space and then taking intersections with the given set right similarly for closed set also we take closer in open uh, that original set and take the intersection with the set y they will get the closed set this is the theorem is telling okay so and proof is also not difficult so uh, to prove this if and only means you need to prove the both thing right so um so let us uh, so so if if you uh, say uh, let um, a is closed uh, in y then you need to prove that a there will be some some kind of set which is closed in x and it can be written as intersection of that with x right if a is closed in y that means what so this means that y minus a is uh, open in y right by definition but because y is a subspace under subspace topology so we can write down y minus a can be written as union of some open set intersection of some open sets of y where uh, this u is uh, open set in x in set topology of x right this is the definition of subspace topology right so uh, y minus this can be written as by this but what does that mean so uh, okay so uh, so obviously u is open set so what does that mean that means x minus u is closed inside x okay so you can write down 
uh, thus x minus u which is u complement index is closed in x okay and this is my set which is uh, taking the intersection right and now check that and also uh, now a you can write down that a equal to is x minus u uh, intersection y you check and this is this is your that close set such that a is intersection of that closure into y okay this is okay this is clear okay so so if we start with the open sets a uh, closed sets then uh, under the suspense topology then it must be coming from some closed sets of the original set this is only this is the theorem telling now conversely the uh, converse part is also obvious so uh, conversely uh, if you start uh, a closed set uh, c uh, suppose you have a set a which is c intersection y so this is subset of y doesn't matter such that uh, c is closed in uh, x and now we need to prove that this uh, a is also closed in y so what does that mean a is closed in y means i need to prove that um, x uh, a complement in the y y minus a is open set right that is i need to prove but if c is closed in y uh, uh, so then what does that mean that means x minus c is open set right so this is the element of topology of x x minus c is open set and whenever you have open sets what is the property of open sets the property tells you that the open set intersection y this is open ah, so again Uh, the subset topology tells you that x minus c who intersects with y this is is open open in uh, y right so this is open in y under subset topology but what is this set now check that this set is nothing but y minus a this is exactly y minus a so what does that mean that means this is the complement of y a in set y and which is open and that that implies a is closed A is closed in y right okay now i hope this kind of set theory equality you can prove it right to prove something is open so, uh, two sets are equal you just take that this is subset of this, this is subset of this this is obvious proof okay so here we can do it so what does that mean that means that whenever you have a closed sets inside uh, the subspace that is coming from a closed set of the original space and vice versa if you start with the closed set of the original space, if you take intersection with the subset, it will be closed to inside the subset topology. Okay. Okay, so uh, so so far so good. So these are the basic properties of closed set. And um, you can obviously ask the similar question what we ask inside for uh, open sets. So if you start with open set in a set X y and if y is also open in x then the original set is open in, in the full space so the similar properties two for closed sets and the answer is yes so um, this is also theorem so um, so you start with say let a subset of y be a closed set set uh, in y and you know, let's assume that y is closed in x and this will implies that then your a is closed in x okay but it is not true if y is not closed obviously okay so maybe I will give an example. Um, yeah. So um, or maybe first let us give an example. Then I will give a proof. So uh, you you just uh, for example you check that. Okay. So your x is serial number r, and your y is, you just choose um, open one, 
close 3 uh, sorry o, o close to an open 3 whatever now you check that uh, uh, this uh, a you choose a close to and 3 this is closed in y but this is not closed in r why this closed in y because this is nothing but y intersection a closed set in r and what is a closed set that closed set is say 2 2 4 whatever you can choose many such things one of such things is this right so so this is closed in y but it's not closed in r and what is the condition because your original space y is not closed in r if y is closed in r then uh, then obviously a will be in the both side closed and that will be also closed in r okay this is an example that this is condition okay now how to prove this thing and this is obvious um, uh, okay proof so what is given given that y is closed in x so that means x minus y belongs to the topology of um, x okay and what is given given that um, yeah so uh, this is uh, uh, a is closed uh, in y so y minus okay so if you choose y and then minus a so this will be open uh, open in y under subspace topology so remember when i am saying subspace i mean with respect to subspace topology so this is open in y so what does that mean is open in y so uh, so okay so either you can do this by this or you can say you can use the other property which i just proved uh, maybe that is easier so if this open in y then also you can do it but uh, let us prove or maybe I can give two proof, both proofs. Okay, so let us prove this proof first. So this is open in y, and uh, so that means y minus a is y minus a can be written as uh, some open sets in a section y. Okay, uh, where this u is open set in x. Okay, and then uh, obviously your a will be what so. Um, okay so what was we so uh, y minus a is open in y and then what does that mean that means y minus a can be written as intersection of some open sets so this u is a open set inside x of this form right and uh, hence uh, what i need to prove i need to prove that uh, a is closed uh, inside um, Oh, x a is close inside x so uh, and obviously this is what this is x minus okay so your a will be um, yeah so what will be the a? x minus u intersection of y right now you see that x minus u is closed because u is open and this is closed right so intersection of two closed sets inside x is also closed so this is closed in in x okay i mean this is one way or, or other way you can also use the other property that if a is closed uh, second proof you can say that if a is a is closed in y so that means that a will be intersection of a closed set c is closed in x we just proved it right and so this is closed also closed right because y is closed and c is closed so intersection of two closed set is closed okay and because uh, that that closed set satisfies the property that arbitrary intersection of closed set is closed and finally you know closed set is closed so this is closed. this is also one line proof okay okay anyway so you can you can have this kind of proof okay now we will, we will define another very important property uh, that is called closure of a set and we can also say the interior of a set okay so um, what does that mean closure and interior of a set okay 
So what does that mean? So uh, uh, so you start with the topological space X and tau. I mean, I'm not always writing tau, but if the topology is there, and um, um, I, so maybe definition. So we say E subset of X. Um, okay, or maybe I should write down the definition properly. We say. And so let me also start with this subset. Okay, so the closer of A in X is the intersection of intersection of all closed sets. All clothes um, sets of or subset of X containing a containing a. What does that mean? That means uh, you choose any subset of X which is closed and also inside uh, contain a. Okay. So, and then you collect all such E sets and they take the intersections. Okay, so this intersection of closed sets containing A is called the close, uh, closer of that set. Okay, uh, so, so that is, uh, so in, in other words, so in other words, um, in other words, and uh, uh, closer. Of a set a subset of x is the uh, smallest smallest uh, closed set closed subset of closed super set of a or we can say closed subset of x containing a so let me write down closed super Superset means containing a superset of a. So is that okay? So, you know, uh, uh, so what does that mean? That means if we have a closed set which is superset of a, and uh, that means that must be containing that must contain the closer also. The closer is the smallest such one. Okay. So that is uh, also you can write down that is if uh, b is a close set with a subset of b this implies that a closer okay so i will define use this symbol by closer okay so this this is this means closer of of a so a closer uh, is also inside B. So uh, so whenever you have a subs closed subset containing that A, that also contains this. So this is the smallest such thing. Okay. And um, similarly, you can define uh, the kind of opposite idea. It's called interior. So what is the in meaning of interior? Interior of the set A is the uh, you can see that uh, uh, union of all open sets contained in A. So what does that mean? Is the okay? So I will write down one more union of all um, all so so all open subsets of A. So what does that mean? So union of all open uh, subsets of A. Okay. What does that mean? That means uh, um, subsets of A I am talking about. So what does that mean? That means they are contained inside A, remember. So that is, uh, or otherwise, that uh, it, it is the largest, largest open sets 
open subsets of it or open okay so better to write down subsets it will be easier to understand okay so open subset of a so if given a is given then the, the largest subset of a kind of is called the uh, integer a so what does that mean largest by largest i mean that that is uh, if um, u subset of a is a open set then u must be this implies that then u must be inside also interior so interior i will write down by this symbol int okay this is my symbol int of a is the nothing but interior of a okay so interior of a is kind of largest open set open subset of a and closer of a is the smallest close superset of a okay superset means that contains a right so now let us give some examples so examples so maybe yeah, okay let me start with again my r which is my topological space x and you choose some um uh, say one two open two close to one okay now obviously you can ask what is this and this is obviously uh, one two close to and what is the interior of a this is both open one and two right those are the largest you can ask me how you are writing this thing without do you have any so so how to find out for example uh, in the definition i'm saying that collection of in, intersection of all closed set right so this is kind of a uh, huge definition right so you first collect uh, all the closed set take the intersections and check it right do you have a better way of understanding this thing and yeah we have some better way but let us first discuss one more theorem and then we will tell you exactly how to check what is the inter interior or uh, closer for example of a set okay so uh, okay so uh, for now onwards i will use one one notation also that let me tell you that open neighborhood some people call only neighborhood but uh, some, it's a, there's ambiguity when some people say neighborhood uh, they uh, okay so so this is British English. American people does not use you neighborhood uh, uh, of a set uh, of a point of a uh, you can say for a set also. So I'm talking about a point. So that means I mean that a set which contains that point. Okay, and uh, some people also call neighborhood means open set. Okay. But it is better to write down open neighborhood. So I will write down open NVD means open neighborhood of X. That is uh, clarify for me. Okay. So th this is going to use many places. So that's why I'm defining here. Okay. So um, now one more theorems I'm going to uh, discuss and then we'll go to the classification theorem. How to classify like check some things inside the closer or not. Okay so um uh or maybe uh, how much time we have okay, let's see yeah so after this maybe we may have some more time uh so um so this theorem tells you that the relationship between the closure of a set inside the subset of a set okay so what is the theorem tells me so uh suppose um uh, let y be a soft space of soft space means under subspace topology okay always okay and you have this uh, subset of y and i want to check what is okay so 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 uh, so this uh, by a closer i mean closer inside the biggest one okay so this is closer um, closer of 
a in x okay so this is closure of x in the then if you want to find out what is the closure of a inside y then closure of a in y is actually um, this is actually equal to i mean the natural one a closure intersection of y so inside subset topology you know that things are coming from a bigger set of a subset of x then intersection with y right same thing is true here also so um, how to prove this kind of theorem so it is kind of obvious but we need a proof for this right so um, so let me give a proper proof okay so um, suppose I am writing this uh, this uh, B is that uh, closure of uh, of a in y so what i need to prove so i need to prove that my b is equal to a closure which is closure of a inside x in the section y right this is i need to prove now uh, you have to go two sets are equal then uh, you need to prove that one is in city inside another one right but one part is obvious which one is obvious can you tell now see this part is obvious that b is a subset of a intersection y why this is obvious now you, you if you see the definition what is a closer a closer is the um, closer of a right so which is intersection of all open set right so a closer is uh, a closer so a is it inside a closer right it's containing a and a closer is also closed so a closer is closed and also um, uh, y is uh, whatever anything so because a closer is closed closed then what happened uh, and obviously uh, a is inside y also so a is inside a closer inside y so oh, sometimes machine hangs okay so so a is always inside a closure intersection y right and b is i'm assuming the closure of a in, uh, a in y right so what does that mean so uh, by definition of closure of a set what does that mean this is kind of the intersection of all closed sets right or we can say that um you can say that uh, uh, it is also kind of the smallest closure containing a right so by definition what does that mean this means that this implies b is actually sitting inside a closure inside y right is that, is that okay okay so this is this is the this is obvious proof this is we need to prove and then we prove that because a is inside y and a is also inside a closure a is inside a closure inside y right so what does that mean that means a intersection a closed intersection y contains a right but this is a closed set so this is kind of a closed set containing a and b is the what b is uh, uh, the intersection of all closed set containing a and hence b has to be inside this right because this is intersection of all such things this is one of such things this has to be inside this so this part is obvious now conversely Uh, okay conversely okay so um, okay so conversely what we can say uh, we can say that what I need to show I need to show that um, if I start with a clo closer um, then it has to be of this form right uh, so so um, okay so so this is finally part what we prove so this closure of a is equal to of this form b equal to has to be of this form uh, a intersection this so i only prove one part another part i need to prove that a intersection so so what in so conversely what i need to prove so need to prove to prove um, to prove that a intersection y is inside b this is we need to prove right how to prove this thing now what is b so b is a closer in y right b is a closer 
okay so uh, okay one more thing so closure are actually closed sets so uh, uh, this is the one observation one should understand maybe i can what did i give the example yeah yeah so so this is by definition the smallest closed set right so closure uh, is always closed right closed set and interior are open set right now b is a closed set so b is a closed set in x okay um uh, okay so obviously so oh no b uh, uh, what what is b i defined so b is closure of a in y so in y okay not in x so b is a closure of x in y so b is a closed set in y and if b is a closed set in the y then uh, then what will be of the how b is look like so b will be of the form that some closed set intersection y for some uh, closed set c in x right so there will be a closed set in x which is c and then b can be written as because y is under substance to apply this so this will be of the form c intersection y this is okay now um, uh, c is c what does that mean that means b is uh, c intersection y is b so b is inside c right and um, and obviously one more thing b is the close b is the uh, closer of a inside y so that means b contains a so you can write down that a is inside b inside c so what does that mean that means c is a closed set that contains a so this implies uh, a is inside c and c is, is a closed set now you use the definition of closure of, uh, of a inside x so closure of a inside x tells you that this is kind of the smallest closed set containing this right and thus this implies that um, this a closure is also inside c right because a closure is the smallest closed set of x containing a and c is one of the closed set contains a so a closure contains this and this implies a closure intersection y is, is inside c intersection y but a closure intersection y what is c intersection y that is b right yeah so b is in this y so 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 thus a closure intersection y is subset of b and this will tell you that b is equal to exactly a closer intersection y so so what does that mean that means if you want to find out the closer of a set inside a subset of a given topology then uh, it is nothing but the closer of the set inside the full topology and then take the restriction with respect to y okay so here this is the theorem and the, then you can obviously have lots of examples that you can say for example um, um Again, uh, I start with x equal to r, and my uh, I want to check uh, uh, and y equal to my say open interval, close into one two say three, and I want to check uh, my set a subset of maybe say two two three. So this is subset of y, right? I want to check what is a closer, how a closer look like. okay so a closer means a closer uh, okay so a closer okay i should not say a closer i should say a closer in a, y because by a closer i mean closer in x the bigger one okay so uh, okay then how the closer in this look like so closer of a in y is what so this is equal to closer of a in this intersection y right so what is closer of a in x by definition uh, uh, so i am not by definition this is that kind of smallest closure containing this and this is actually close two and close three right and hence closer of a in y will be what this will be a closer 
intersection of y which is close to 3 intersection of y and which is nothing but close to open 3. So you understood it? So, so so closure of A inside Y is itself. But original closure of A inside X is something bigger one, right? You have extra points here. But it is itself here. So uh, so the under subspace topology, the original closure of that may not be the same. That is one of the examples. Okay. Okay, so how much time I have? Maybe I could stop here. Okay, I think I have only used some time. So maybe I will stop here and uh, in next class I will give some more idea of closure of sets, uh, how to find out properly and there is something called limit points and other thing. Okay, so I will stop here.